Greetings, honorary members of the Purple Hand Gang. Ready for some fun? <laughs> I can't decide whether I want to watch in the past, the present or the future. Henry, isn't it your bedtime? Nope. Mum said I could stay up all night watching Gross Class Zero reruns. Did she? That's odd. That'll work for about... ten seconds. Henry, Mum says... Sorry, can't hear you! Henry, look. Oh, I give up. Just bought us another 20 seconds. Time for the titles, at least. Not bogey far poo! We're all gross and so are you! All right, all right, coming. Welcome to Catch Them If You Can, the show where we share mouse tales and we don't mean stories. Meow! Not now, Fluffy. I'm busy. Good morning, Fluffy Wuffy. Did you sleep well, Fluffy Wuffy? Oh, are you ready for some bricky wacky, Fluffy Wuffy? There you go, Fluffy Wuffy. What is it, Fluffy Wuffy? <laughs> Do you want some more, Fluffy Wuffy? There you go, Fluffy Wuffy. Mum, have you seen my... In the sitting room. A boy under the city. We're going to be late. Just have a banana, Henry. <laughs> Yuck! Fruit? You're asking me to take a piece of fruit to school? I'll have a banana, Mum. Worm. Will you hurry up? We're going to be late. Bye, Mum. Bye, sweetie bun. Bye, Henry. Bye, Mum. Oh, peace at last. Come on, Fluffy. Let's get the ball rolling. No sleeping on Peter's bed, Fluffy. No sleeping on the bed, Fluffy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
It's not pink enough. But, Princess... Don't you princess me. It's not pink enough. Open it. Page 27. Now look at it. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, of course, my princess. I, I, I mean, my pearl. Look! It's not pink enough. It's quite pink sweetness. But not pink enough. Get rid of it. But I, uh, Margaret... <laughs> You can't get another one. Well, you see, precious plum cake, they don't have any more pink ones in stock. It seems that the pink ones are the most popular, and so... Yeah, yeah, I know how it works. The law of supply and demand and online ordering being one step ahead of the retail stock. Well, to be fair, I didn't actually order it online. What? You didn't order it online? Well, there you go, then. If you didn't order it online, then you wouldn't have been one step ahead of the curve, would you? Well, I suppose not, Sweet Pea, but, uh... I suppose it's not that bad a pink, really. Well, yes, if you like pink. I do. Pink makes me look pretty. Well, yes, my little Pinklington, you do look pretty in pink. And if everyone else wants a pink one... Yes? And I've got a pink one... Yes? Then that's not a bad thing, is it? Well, no, I suppose it isn't. It can stay. Good decision, my pink pumpkin. See you later, Snooter Gator. Good morning. Horrid man. Hey. One day! One day! That's not enough time to get to know each other. together, you pour it into these pretty little baking cases. Then Mum puts them in the oven so we don't burn our fingers. That's right, Peter. Oh, aren't sleepovers fun? Yes, yes they, they are! are. <laughs> My wings are all lovely and oh. Henry! <laughs> Oops! We're making furry cake. 
cakes, Henry. And we're going to decorate them with fairies. And pink bunnies. I'm having a sleepover. A sleepover? You're having a sleepover? Why? Mum? No, Henry. You're not having a sleepover. And if you think about it for one minute, you'll know why. That's enough, Henry! Oh, please, Mum! Just a tiny little one! N-O spells no, Henry. It's not fair! Could you turn that down, Henry? Peter and his friends don't like that kind of music. So? I don't like them. Oh, don't be horrid, Henry. Peter and his friends, huh? What do they know about sleepovers anyway? Well, what do you think you're doing? We've brushed our teeth. And we've washed behind our ears. And now we're going to bed. Bed? Ha! But it's only half past six. Aren't you going to have some fun first? Oh, yes. We're going to have a bed inspection to make sure our beds are all neat and tidy. <laughs> <laughs> well done, everybody. Shall we have a sing-song before lights are? Oh, oh, can we? Uh, yes. yes, I'd really like that. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, let's. Frere Jaco, Frere Jaco, Over. Make a den. A den? Yep, that's right. And then you can blast off into outer space. Oh, really? Don't listen to him, Gordon. He's only trying to spoil our fun. You ungrateful worm! I'm only trying to show you how to have a proper sleepover. Right, who's ready for a trip to the farthest reaches of the outer Spongolian belt? Me! <gasps> I think. Prepare for takeoff, Wing Commander Gordon. Three, two, one, blast off! <laughs> right, where were we? Sonne le mattina, sonne le mattina, ding dang dong, ding dang. Commander! Whee! Uh, we aren't exceeding the permitted speed limit, are we, Henry? Oh. That was really, really, really exciting! Thanks, Henry! No problems, Wing Commander Gordon! What shall we do next? Uh, well, we could press some flowers! Or oh, we could tell ghost stories! In the den? Cool! Come to? Of course. The more the merrier. And Ashton Athletic are going to the FA Cup Ooh. final this Saturday. Do you hear that? Oh, I expect it's just the boys having some fun. I'll just make sure they're all right. Peter? Is everything all right in there? Uh, yes, Mummy! We're telling ghost stories! Oh, how exciting! Nighty night, good boys! That was really scary! Yeah, can we have some more? How about a fairy story instead? Hum, <clears throat> hum. Once upon a time, there was a lovely pink fairy called Princess Twinkletips, and... Right! Time for a midnight feast! A midnight feast!
midnight feast? No sleepover's a proper sleepover without a midnight feast. <laughs> midnight oh, feast. Oh, feast. Come on, men. But... <laughs> but it's not... I mean... Ooh. Come on, Peter. <sighs> Did you hear something? No. <laughs> well, I think I did. Phew, this isn't good for my nerves. Henry, it's Dad! Quick, hide! <laughs> oh, Fluffy. <laughs> Was close. Yeah, it was. Thanks, Fluffy. Henry, we're being really naughty. Now then, let's see. <laughs> Oops, never mind. The fairy cakes aren't in the fridge, Henry. Yeah, I know. But there's loads of other stuff in here. But, Henry, we've already brushed our teeth. Peter, we're... I mean, you're having a sleepover. Yes, I am having a sleepover. Woohoo! Look, here are the fairy cakes. Just one thing missing. <laughs> I knew they were there. Mum's secret stash. Just what we need for a great midnight feast. But, Henry... What about all the mess? Oh, we'll clean it up later. Now, come on! Phew. I knew you'd get the hang of sleepovers in the end, Peter. Next up, bedroom trampoline! <laughs> hmm, that sounds like... <laughs> no, it couldn't be. Peter and his friends wouldn't jump on his bed, would they? Of course not. But I'll just pop up and check. <laughs> Peter? Is everything all right in there? Uh, yes, Mum. All right, then. Go to sleep now. Best boys. Yes, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> What's next, Henry? The grand finale! Make way for the meanest pirate in the land! A vast dumbbelly! <laughs> Oops. Uh oh. Henry! Peter! Oops! And what have you got to say for yourselves? Thank you very, very much for having us. Right, that's it. I'm phoning your parents to come and collect you immediately. And no more sleepovers for either of you, ever. No! Fabulous flower with petals so pinky could never be said to be stinky. So strong towards the sun you'll grow, unless we have unseasonal snow. Quiet, smelly nappy baby. Some of us are trying to sleep. You know what they say, Henry. The early bird catches the worm. You're the worm, worm, and I'm the bird. So if you don't stop that stupid poetry right now, I'll be coming down and catching you. But I'm just trying to... No poetry. <laughs> poetry should be banned. Stop it now! But it's not poetry. No singing, no poetry, no words, nothing. But... Your lips are moving. <laughs> Nothing! No! Uh, just what do you think you're doing? <laughs> Talk to me, 
Hey, droopy pants. And what's that? It's my new plant. Woohoo! Miss Lovely gave it to me. Why? We're making our plants grow up to be happy plants by playing music and singing to them. <laughs> What's that for? Feeding time. Growing plants need to be fed regularly. So what are you feeding it? I have some very nutritious plant food. <laughs> but what if it wants a sandwich? I'm not reading you poetry. Hey, would you like to see the latest issue of Kung Fu Cockroach? We need music. Henry, do you know what time it is? Yeah, it's quality time. <gasps> what are you doing? I think your plant likes me. Of course it does. You've got the same IQ. <laughs> Party features. Oh, look! Henry's finally got a friend. Just a pity it's a vegetable. <laughs> Actually, it's not a vegetable. Its Latin name is... Oh, up early, boys. Henry, housework today, remember? The hoover won't run itself. <sighs> he doesn't like poetry. He... If I had a plant, I'd teach it to eat rubbish so I'd never have to clean up ever again. Did you ring the bell? Brilliant! Wait here a minute. Wow! That plant can move by itself. Henry! You can't have finished already! All right, all right! Oh, this is exhausting! Yes, finished! Oh, time for a little rest. <sighs> oh, stupid Peter and his stupid plant waking me up so early. <sighs> It's for me! We've come to see your plant. How's it doing? Ta-da! Ooh, it's lovely! How do you get it to grow so big? Regular nutritious food. And I've been reading it poetry. Ooh, yes! yes. It especially likes sardines. Are you going to play a game, boys? Oh, yes! What a super idea! What shall we play? Sardines, of course! <laughs> How lovely! Shall I take your plant up to your room, Peter? Yes, please, Mum. Sam and I will count. Gordon, you hide. Oh, goody! One... I wonder if they're in here. Hey! Some of us are napping! Have you seen Gordon or Sam anywhere? No, I was asleep, fungus head. All I've seen was the inside of my eyelids. I was asleep! But... Out! Aha! I bet they're in here. Not in here. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten about you, my little friend. It must be nearly feeding time.
just people to eat first, like Miss Battleaxe and Soggy Sid and that old lady who always lets a dog wheel my leg, and a... Uh... And Peter! Blunt! I command you, eat perfect Peter! Oh, there you are, Henry. Uh, yes? Who are you talking to? Your plant! It's eaten Margaret and now it's going to eat you! My plant? <laughs> you are funny, Henry. Plants don't eat people. I must be dreaming. Ah, oh, feeding time. <laughs> I'm off to watch TV. There you are, little blondy wanty. Lovely, nutritious food. What a silly Billy! Eating people? I blame the television programmes he watches. But you've just been fed. Eat radioactive fist, miscreant! The taste the full force of my radioactive bile! Monster! Yeah, get him, you smart! Your last plot, Dr. Fowl. Get ready for my Furp of Doom! But what's this lurking behind, Mutant Max? What dreadful horror has Dr. Fowl cooked up this time? Mutant Max primes his gauntlets of goo, unsuspecting as the evil horror creeps up behind him. Closer, and closer, and closer. Look behind you, Mutant Max! Behind you! Could this be the end of Mutant Max? Oh, that's stupid! There's no way Max wouldn't have seen that! Stop it all you like, Mutant Max! You'll never escape! That's not my stomach! Ah! What are you doing? You, you don't want to eat me! Oh, I'm your friend! a bad dream. Yeah, yeah, I was. Oh, never mind. I've bought you a little present, Henry. You did? Yes. I've bought you, ta-da, a plant of your own. It's so easy being me. I'm to carry everything on my own. Oh, thank you, Henry. Peter, go and get yourself dried off and put that silly toy away. Mum got me a double drencher 3000! And it's not even my birthday! This is so special! With this, no one is safe! Monkey planets won't eat green! Won't eat carrots, won't eat beans! Won't eat... Yeah! Double drencher! Let go, Henry! Oh, it's not for you! Not for me? No, it's a prize for the school fair. No! You can't give away my double drencher as a prize! Well, maybe you'll be lucky and win it. You have the same chance as everybody else. The same chance? That's not fair! Do you hear me? It's not fair! Henry, I need your donations for the school fair now. I'm not giving away my toys. Oh, don't be horrid, Henry. No, not Spotty Dog! No! <sighs> Here are my toys, Mum! 
I want to share them with other less fortunate children. Well, what a generous boy you are. I'm waiting, Henry. Okay, I'll find something. Now let's get this straight. I like getting. I hate giving. But for some things, I'm willing to make an exception. You're not going to give away the walkie-talkie, burpy, slurpy, teasy-weezy doll that Great Aunt Greta gave you for Christmas? Mum, Great Aunt Greta thinks I'm a girl. And this one is for my darling niece, Henrietta. It's Henry Aunt Greta. I'm a boy. Eh? No, it's not a toy, Henrietta. <laughs> it's a doll? What am I going to do with a doll? Take it or leave it. Thank you, Henry. Now, I don't want either of you to go in the living room for a while. I've got to work out the treasure map for the pirate prize. You're doing the treasure map? Here? Well, somebody has to. She's doing the treasure map here, in our house! You freak up! That's it! That dump drencher is mine! Each other. Your father and I are helping with the games. Huh? Oh, what shall we do first? Get lost, worm. I have to buy my ticket before anyone else gets my number. Oh, uh, just keep an eye on myself then. Where's the pirate prize booth? Other side of this tent, I think. Want a bite? Yeah, thanks. Oi, come back! Back! Huh? Stop him! to be the next to play. Ah, Henry, you're an eager volunteer. No, I can't. I, I have to get to. Don't be shy now. Just do your best. Oh, come back, Henry. <laughs> Sorry, Miss Ombud. Uh, gotta go. Hello? Hello? I want to buy a ticket. Hello? We're not open yet, Henry. Come back later. There he is. Get him. Gotta go. Huh? Who's next? Sit properly there. Whee! <laughs> Tickets can now be purchased for the pirate prize competition. Take a chance, win a prize. Gangway, coming through. Wow! Oh no! One of them is bound to choose number 42 before I can! Okay, calm down. Think. What would Rapper Zappa do? This is where ordinary mortals would give up. But I will fight my enemies one by one and I will triumph! <laughs> okay, who's first? Rude Ralph. Easy. I'm gonna mash you to pieces! Calm down, I'll make it up to you! I'll tell you what the winning number is! Really? Sure, and I'll tell you for only 50p! Deal! It's number 95! <laughs> Hi, Andrew. Uh, you do know that the first prize is a bungee jump, don't you? What? And the second prize is two bungee jumps. <laughs> Don't try and butt in. Don't need to. I know the winning number. 
want to buy it. Uh, which number is going to win? Number 42. It is. Honestly, number 42 is the winner. You owe me 50p. You really think I'm falling for that one, Henry? Ugh, I'm picking 31. Yes! Putty in my hands! Oh, no! Beefy Bird jumped the queue! Ah! 42's gone! Beefy Bird's got my ticket! Bert, I'll give you 50p for that ticket. I don't know. And my new football. I don't know. OK, OK. 50p, my new football and a Killer Boy Rats poster. Uh, I don't know. Look, Henry, I bought a treasure map ticket and a raffle ticket. Go away, worm. I'm busy. Do we have a deal? Great! I'll bring your stuff to... 75? I don't want this number. Somebody's got my ticket. Peter? Peter's got my ticket! Peter! Peter, come back here! Worm, you've got number 42. I want it. I'll give you 50p for it. But I like this ticket. It's mine. Oh, I think I should keep it because... How much? One pound. 42? Yes! Mwah! Come on, let's have some fun! You can do it. You can do it. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Attention, Pirate Prize ticket holders. The winner will be announced shortly. Listen, it's prize-getting time. I, I'm really, really sorry, Miss Lovely. And the winner is... Number 42! Yes! You lied to me. You told me the truth! The winner! I'm afraid not, Henry. Your ticket is for the raffle, not at the treasure chest. Who has number 42? Both your tickets were 42. It's my age in doggy years! <laughs> my life is over! Um, would the holder of raffle ticket number 42 please come to the raffle booth and collect your prize? Wait, hear that? I won the raffle! Gangway! Winner coming through! 42, 42, I've got number 42! Congratulations, Henry! Yours. Yours? I did it last year. Are you sure? Oh, do you think I would ever forget? Tomorrow is take your kid to work day. And neither of them want to take a worm like you. Mum, Henry says that you and Dad don't want to take me to work. Don't be horrid, Henry. And take these into the kitchen and leave your poor brother alone. about take your kid to work day is you get a day off school. The worst thing is that Mum and Dad have really boring jobs. Why couldn't Mum be a famous scientist? Oops! up this mess, Henry. You're coming to work with me tomorrow and I want you to be on your best behaviour. Great! Can I play computer games and surf the net and play computer games? Henry, I work for Tingly Toothbrushes. We sell toothbrushes and toothpaste. You'll be filing and photocopying. No way! And if you're lucky, you might get to pack toothpaste tubes into boxes. Not me! I'm not going! Of course you're going. It'll do you good to see what it's like to work. No! I don't want to go to work! I think Dad's really going to like having
having me going to work with him. No one's better than having Stinky Peter. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be really, really fine. Henry, not that one! Oh! This is not a good start, Henry. Nowhere near good. You've already been horrid and we're not even at my desk yet. But Dad, we're being cut out by firefighters! This is great! An office is a place where people come to work, not to muck about. I want perfect behaviour. My boss is very strict, so don't let me down, eh? Dad, you can count on me. Oh! Ow! You're late. Bad start. Bob knows best and late people aren't great people. Sorry, Bob, sir. I, um, hit the alarm button by accident. Dad just told a fib. Hmm. This is just like school. Henry, this is Bob, my boss. And you have to do everything he tells you. And this is Bill, his son. And you have to do what I say, too. Welcome to my brush and paste empire, young Henry. We aim to have a foaming brush in every mouth in the land. So, take this day by the scruff of the neck, little laddie. Listen and learn, and one day you too could take orders from me. I'll try my best, sir, Bob, sir. Uh, I promise to listen and learn. I like you, young Henry. I wish more young men wanted to be like me. Tell you what, you can be my son's partner for the day. I expect my boy Bill to take toothpaste into the future. Watch him like a hawk, Henry. My boy is the future. You heard Bob, Sir Henry. Do everything he says and everything Bill says. Yes, sir, a Bob, Sir. Meeting in the boardroom in five. All hands on deck. First task, boys. Make the tea, serve the tea. And remember, I could be watching you. Remember, Henry, do everything they say. Oh, we have to make all these. Are you kidding? I got better things to do than listen to Dad give orders. Great! What will we do instead? You don't get it, do you? You make the tea, I watch you. No way! If you don't do what I say, my dad will fire your dad. So get making bucket brain. Good. Now I order you to put this stuff in the tea. Remember, do everything he says. Well, if that's an order. Well done. Thank you, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> this tea's been sampled with. Who did this? It was Henry, Dad. I tried to stop him, but he wouldn't listen. But he told me to. And you said I had to do everything he told me to do. No excuses. You should keep your son under more control. You need to learn what hard work is, Henry. I want you both down in the packing department now! I'll get you for this, snot brain! No, you won't, because my dad is a boss and there's nothing you can do about it. You better help or I'll quit. Dead or not, you'll get into trouble again and you're not working fast enough. Look at that. Dad hates to waste toothpaste more than anything. He's gonna be really angry. Gotcha! <laughs> Don't be horrid, Henry. I tried to stop him, Dad, but he won't listen to me. <gasps> this is disgraceful behaviour, Henry. Totally unacceptable. 
If I was your real boss, you'd be sacked. I am so ashamed of you. He's trouble, Dad. And not the sort of person I would employ when I take over this company. I know, so, But you have to understand, some children don't have your quality upbringing. I will give you one last chance, Henry. Son, take Henry to the photocopier and show him how to copy these documents for me. And Henry... I know, Bob, sir. I have to watch Bill and learn. This snotty, snivelling snot needs to be caught doing something really, really bad. But what? Eureka! That's it! Hey, Bill! I've just had a really good idea. Why don't we copy something horrid and then hang the pictures all over the office? Like what? <laughs> it's a bit rude. Great idea! Me first! No, oh, me first! I'm the boss, and the boss always goes first. Of course. You know best, Bill, sir! Yes! We must convince the nation, and then the entire world, that a day without toothpaste is like... <laughs> uh, did I say something funny? <clears throat> no, Bob, sir. We would never laugh at you. Bottom two, bottom three, bottoms five, five, bottom six, bottom seven, bottoms more. Bill! What are you doing? Um, it was Henry. I, I, I don't know why he's saying that, Bob, sir. I'm afraid I told him not to, Bob, sir, but he just wouldn't listen to me, Bob, sir. Uh, sir. How dare you? You've made me a laughing stock in front of my entire company. You're not the son I thought you were. Go home. I'll deal with you later. But, Dad! No, but. I think we've had enough of those. Obviously, I was a little hasty in blaming your son. Boys will be boys, Bob. No matter the quality of their upbringing. Well, young Henry, I think for the rest of the day you can, um, amuse yourself. Uh, a Bob, sir. Oh, right! Yes! I'm gonna ask Mum and Dad if I can leave school early. Having a job is really cool! supposed to make that noise upstairs in your room. Didn't you hear me, worm? I'm going to watch Mutant Max. No, you're not. There's no telly tonight. No telly? What did I do wrong this time? Nothing. Mum's new boss is coming to dinner. Cool. We always get pudding when people come to dinner. Hope it's chocolate mousse. I'm going to check out the pudding. Don't touch that. Oh, oh, no. Henry! Do I have to clean the floor? Yes, and the walls as well. I want this place spotless for the mossies. And Henry, it's a grown-ups only evening. You'll be in bed when they arrive. In bed? But I'm staying up to play the cello. That's not fair! After last time, no way. No! That was ages ago. I was younger then. Ah! Dinner is served. Oh, 
no. I'm all grown up now. I promise to behave. You're going to bed early tonight, Henry. It's not fair! It's not fair! It's not fair! It's still not fair! What are you cooking tonight, dear? Salmon with lime and ginger and, uh, chocolate mousse for dessert. Mum, I'm really looking forward to meeting the Mossies tonight. Nice try, Henry. Oh, but it's not fair! Peter gets to stay up and you're having chocolate mousse! I love chocolate mousse! Mr Mossy wants to hear Peter play the cello and then it's off to bed for him as well. I'm rather looking forward to an early night. I understand that grown-ups need to be by themselves sometimes. Don't be Henry! Stop it! Go to your room! I won't! I want to stay up! I want chocolate mousse! I want... Upstairs now! And don't come out until I tell you. The dinner guests are here! Oh no, the moose. I'll have to make another one. <sighs> Good evening. Hello. Delighted to meet you, Mr and Mrs Mossy. I'm Peter. What a journey. Put Hercules down, dear. <coughs> Look, Fluffy. A nice big tasty mouse. <coughs> Peter's cello sound better? Pa, Hercules! Mummy will protect you! They really ought to keep that wild beast locked up! It's just not fair! I'm stuck here while they're all having fun! Chocolate! Chocolate mousse! Well, if they won't invite me to dinner, I'm inviting me to dinner! Perfect. Dinner is served. Uh oh. Peter doesn't play that well. Someone has tampered with your music, Peter. neighbourhood for the kids to grow up in and oh um Hercules bad dog I must apologize has he eaten them all <laughs> don't worry it's just a few nuts I didn't know they could jump that high neither did I hmm he must enjoy a challenge hmm got to be careful time for operation grizzly grub they're gonna love this Henry you're supposed to be upstairs. But I want to meet Mr and Mrs Bossy. Crisp? How sweet. Mossy, not Bossy. But Mum, isn't that what you always call them? <coughs> Peter, get Mrs Mossy a drink. Right away, Mum. <coughs> Oh dear, come on Mrs Mossy, let's get you cleaned up. And you boys, go to bed. Certainly. Good night Mr Mossy, I hope Mrs Mossy gets better soon. <laughs> 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 
Hmm, Grizzly Grub, eh? Haven't seen one of these in a long time. I dare you. And anyway, you're supposed to be in bed. Oh, what a shame. We've had a performance by Peter. How about Henry? Surely you can do something too, Henry. Oh, yeah. I can do karate. hi -ya! Whoa! No! <laughs> Very good, Henry. But I have my own special martial art, Mossy Kido. Bedtime, Henry. to Mr. and Mrs. Mossy. Oh, thank you, Henry. Oh. 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 <laughs> the salmon! Oh. Oh. Come along, Hercules. Oh. We're leaving. <laughs> Mr. Mossy, I apologise for our son. Please don't fire me from my job. <laughs> fire you? Why on earth would I do that? Best fun I've had in years. But, but, but... Most dinner parties are so boring. But this was definitely not boring. Perhaps you should uh, say your goodbyes to Mrs. Mossy? I, uh, I, yes, of course. Mrs. Mossy, won't you at least stay for some uh, chocolate mousse? Don't worry, my boy. When I was your age, my nickname was Terrible Timothy. Really? You'll get punished for this. Yeah. Yeah, me too. You're good, Henry. But as I found out as I grew older, there's always someone better than you. <laughs> <laughs> 